Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As per the announcement made on March 20, 2024, by the British Ministry of Defense, MOD, Intelligence Services, the Russian military has officially initiated the operational use of its latest generation main battle tank, known as the T-14 Armada. However, despite its introduction, reports from the British MOD indicate that Russia has opted not to deploy the T-14 Armada in the current conflict in Ukraine. This decision stems from concerns over the substantial expenses associated with the tank and the potential damage to Russia's reputation should such a prestigious vehicle be compromised in combat. The strategic rationale behind Russia's choice to withhold deployment of the T-14 Armada in the Ukraine conflict involves a multifaceted evaluation of risks, notably the significant apprehension that the tank could fall into the hands of Ukrainian forces. The T-14 Armada, being a pinnacle of military technology, embodies numerous advanced features that represent a significant advancement in armored vehicle capabilities. The prospect of its capture on the battlefield not only signifies a tangible loss of advanced machinery but also poses a serious risk of technology transfer. The seizure of AT-14 Armada would grant Ukrainian forces, and potentially their allies, unprecedented access to Russian military technology. This could include detailed insights into the Armada's armor composition, integrated protection systems, functionality of its unmanned turret, and advanced communications and targeting systems. Such information could greatly undermine the technological advantage the T-14 Armada is meant to provide, enabling adversaries to devise countermeasures or even reverse-engineer critical components. Furthermore, the loss and potential capture of AT-14 Armada would inflict significant reputational damage on Russia. The Armada represents not just a tank but also a symbol of Russian military modernization and technological prowess. Its capture would not only reveal vulnerabilities in what is portrayed as the epitome of Russian military equipment but could also diminish the perceived superiority of Russian armored forces. In terms of international military prestige and the psychological aspects of warfare, such an occurrence could have far-reaching consequences, potentially impacting the morale of Russian forces and the strategic calculations of both allies and adversaries. Hence, the decision to refrain from deploying the T-14 Armada in Ukraine is not solely about avoiding the financial repercussions of losing a highly advanced and costly piece of military hardware. It is also aimed at safeguarding the technological secrets embedded within the armada and preserving the prestige of Russian military strength on the global stage. This approach reflects a cautious strategy that balances the advantages of deploying advanced technology against the potential strategic costs in a highly contested and closely monitored conflict. The T-14 Armada was unveiled to the world during the Moscow Victory Day Parade in 2015, representing a significant leap in Russian armored vehicle design. It marked the first major advancement in Russian tank design in decades and was immediately recognized for its innovative features and potential to redefine battlefield engagements. Distinguished by its revolutionary unmanned turret, the T-14 Armada's design departs from previous Russian tank models. This design not only reduces the crew required to operate the tank but also significantly enhances their survivability in combat situations. The crew is housed in an armored capsule at the front of the hull, separate from the ammunition stored in the turret, thereby reducing the risk of catastrophic damage. Mobility is another hallmark of the T-14 Armada, powered by a new generation 1,500 horsepower diesel engine capable of propelling it to speeds of up to 80 km per hour on roads. Its advanced suspension system and lightweight composite armor enhance its agility and enable it to operate across various terrains, from urban environments to rugged countryside. The Armada boasts state-of-the-art protection, incorporating a blend of composite armor, reactive armor, and an active protection system. The active protection system is designed to detect, track, and intercept incoming anti-tank munitions, significantly bolstering its survivability on the battlefield. In terms of firepower, the T-14 Armada is equipped with a new 125mm smoothbore cannon capable of firing various types of ammunition, along with guided missiles. This cannon is complemented by a fully automated loading system, facilitating rapid fire and reducing crew workload. The unmanned turret design allows for a larger gun and increased ammunition capacity compared to traditional tank designs. The T-14 Armada integrates cutting-edge military technology, including advanced targeting systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and network-centric warfare technology. These systems enhance the tank's situational awareness, enabling it to communicate and coordinate with other units in real-time, thereby significantly enhancing its effectiveness on the battlefield. 
Despite its advanced features and capabilities, the decision to withhold the deployment of the T-14 Armada in Ukraine reflects strategic considerations regarding cost, potential losses, and reputational implications for Russia. While the tank remains a symbol of Russian military modernization and a crucial asset for its ground forces, its deployment is likely to be reserved for conflicts where its advanced capabilities can be utilized with minimal risk. That's all for now, see you later.